Hello students, welcome back to the class. Now students, as you have already seen the video related to circles, now we will discuss some questions related to the same topic of circles. So I have here, I have taken some questions from your book exercise. The first question says, study the figure and fill in the blanks. So here, as you can see, there is a circle given to you and there are few lines given in this circle. So, very first, if we discuss about this figure of the circle, you can see there is a point at center. What is the center point called? Center of the circle. Right, student? Then, the distance or you can say the line segment from center to the circumference, that will be the radius of the circle. And then, the line segment which joins the extreme points on the circumference but passing through the center that is called diameter okay and the last the line segment which joins any two points on the circumference like rs and pq these two are chords of the circle so let us start answering the questions one by one so the very first question is the center of the circle is the point which point is the center of the circle? Point A. So, point A is the center of the circle. Coming to the second part, the chords of the circle are, what are the chords? There are two chords in this circle. Yes, P, Q and R, S. So, you have to name P, Q, R, S. These are the two chords of the circle. Third part, the radii of the circles are and there are total 5 radii in this given circle. So, let us check out what are the radii. That means the line segment from the center to the extreme point on the circumference. So, very first A, R, A, R, A, S, A, S, then A, Q, after that A, P and A to B. So these are the five radii of the circle A, R, A, S, A, Q, A, P and A, B. Clear students? Coming to the fourth part, the diameters of the circles are, what are the two diameters present here? Yes, the diameters are P, S and Q, R. So, these are the two diameters of the circle P, S and Q, R. So, this is how we can answer the questions related to circles when it is given in this labeled form. Coming to the second question, find the radius of the circle whose diameter is given to us. Now, in this question, diameter is given to us and we have to find its radius. So, students, for finding this, we have to use the relation between diameter and radius. As we have already discussed the relation between diameter and radius and what is it? Diameter is equals to 2 times radius or we can say radius is equals to diameter upon 2. So we are going to use this relation to find the value of radius. Just because here diameter is given to us and we have to calculate radius. So we are going to use this second relation. So let's check out the solution for these two. Very first, in the first question, diameter is given to us as 14 centimeter. What you have to find is radius. So radius is equals to diameter upon 2. That means diameter divided by 2. Why it is so? Because radius is half of the diameter. Clear students? Now let's put the value. What is diameter given to us? 14 centimeter divided by 2. So what you will get? 2 sevens are 14. So radius of the circle is 7 centimeter. This is how you can find the radius if diameter is given to us. Similarly, you can also find diameter if radius is given to you. In that case, you will use the relation diameter is equal to 2 times the radius. Clear students? Let's check out the solution for the second one. In the second part, once again, diameter is given to us as 5 centimeter. 
Now you have to find radius. So radius is equals to diameter divided by 2. So radius will be what is diameter given to us? 5 centimeter divided by 2. Now 5 divided by 2, what will be the answer? 2.5 centimeter. That means if diameter of the circle is 5 centimeter, its radius will be 2.5 centimeter. Clear students? So this is how we can do the questions related to circles. I hope today's lecture is clear to all of you. Kindly go through your book exercise and complete the questions in your notebook. Thank you for the lesson students. Have a great day.